So, here we are at the beginning, and you'll see me in the future, that's the same as now, but finally got the ugly mug on. Yeah, run a bit of walk around. Done a little video, because on the suggestion from a good friend, he suggested that you lot would like to see what a day in the life of me driving a van, delivering bikes to bits and pieces across the country. So, that's what I've done. So I'll zoom to the end, and uh, yeah, we have a look, see what you think. Let us know if you hate it, let us know if you like it, if you want some more, I'll tell some stories, whatever, I'm not bothered, just let me know. Here we are, eight o'clock at night, just getting ready to load a bike to deliver, little Enfield, going down to Hayes, near Heathrow. Bit of a day out tomorrow, we'll get this loaded up, tonight in the van out there waiting and then get it on its way down to uh, Hayes I think then we're going to oh god somewhere in Hampshire uh, BMW in Hampshire uh, for a Bandit 1250 so there's a van all ready to go look seven o'clock at night this is how we have to do it because in the day we're answering calls and all the rest of it. So, let's get it in the van. Yeah, there you go. That's it, she's all loaded in. Four straps. Van's a bit of a pig hole today. Quick check of the straps. The straps are good. Happy days. Showing 80 kilometers on this absolutely nothing this guy's going to be so happy when it turns up at his door in haze before we then tootle on onwards and upwards to bmw hampshire ramp up locked away snug van needs a wash but give us a toot if you see us on the road okie dokie over and out so, morning's here. Going to uh, Hayes, drop off the little Enfield. And then hook in Hampshire. Yep, that's about right. Pick up a Suzuki GSX. So, if you want one of them, you can have one. It's on its way. Right, might update you along the journey. See you in a bit. So, morning's here. Going to uh, Hayes, drop off the little Enfield, and then hook in Hampshire. Yep, that's about right. Pick up a Suzuki GSX. So, if you want one of them, <coughs> You can have one. It's on its way. Right, might update you along the journey. See you in a bit. That's it, lovely day. Lincolnshire, leaving sunny Grimsby. Um, heading down south now. Probably a typical day, it was a late on last night getting it all loaded up and everything else and uh, now we're headed down to Hayes I believe in Middlesex um, just one of our normal things that we do uh, chap wanted his bike he's going away to um, foreign shores on Saturday and said if we could get him his bike before the weekend he'd have it so we got him his bike that's the only way to do it can't always do it but if we can we'll do our best to help, it's just what we do. So, you see seeing now, Lincolnshire Sun, I'll keep you updated as we go.
doing this then? Um, yeah, good question. Well, a good friend of mine, he suggested that people on YouTube might actually like watching a bike being delivered. Um, I don't know about that. We'll, uh, I guess we'll find out. But, so it's being shot on a mobile phone. No fancy gizmos. And I've got to get his young lad has said he'll gonna edit it. So we'll see. Can't really see the interest, but you never know. It's a day, I guess, dodging speed cameras, looking for cheap fuel, and trying to avoid everybody on the road, which is difficult because they seem to want to hit you nine times out of ten. Um, this is a bit of a departure really for the other videos that you see of ours, which are um, obviously just showing your bikes. For some reason, people like them. Um, yeah, all a bit weird, really. But let's see if people want to see a day in the life of Matt from the Real Toy Shop delivering bikes. Now, probably already mentioned earlier, we're going, it's about four hours from sunny Grimsby which it really is you can see out the window this is not Grimsby this is Lincolnshire <coughs> flattest country county sorry in the UK it's uh, flat we've got one hill uh, I've passed that already so you, you've missed that um, that's a bit of excitement for you so yeah about four hours loaded up late last night about seven o'clock got one bike in today going somewhere near Heathrow I think Hayes it's a beautiful uh, Royal Enfield next to no miles on it so that can be dropped off first and then we're moving on to a BMW dealership car dealership um, where we've underwritten a Suzuki GSX 1250 the big bandit thing Victoria and that'll be coming over me already bought and paid for so the way we kind of work you, we don't get to see this stuff first we get good descriptions and then we hope and pray so you'll you'll be seeing it with same set of eyes as i've seen it with first first glance we'll have a look at it put it in the van bring it back to grimsby it'll probably be dark by then so yeah 180 miles sunny day sat in the van if you find this interesting, wow. Because I do it regular, I guess it's not quite so interesting for me. I used to like it an awful lot. Still like it, love meeting the people when we get there and seeing their happy smiling face when they get a new bike, new toy, whatever. So, we'll have a look. See if uh, Balwinder likes his bike. And uh, move on to uh, Hook in Hampshire. Hook in Hampshire. Yeah. Can't really think about what else to say, so uh, if anything crops up along the journey that I think of, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll stick it on there. Just a quick thought uh, as I'm driving along. I'm absolutely useless with the um, you know the old social media and all that sort of thing I don't really get involved I believe we have an Instagram or something that uh, never ever gets used the real toy shop uh, but it's there if you want to look at it it's got followers for some reason but um, yeah and when it comes to this technology malarkey with the um, filming videos and uh, certainly editing them. I don't think I've ever edited a video in my life. Everything's always knocked out off the back. When I do the bike ones, so there's no cut and paste of them. They're all uh, natural as it comes, as I see it. So that's good in a way, I guess, but a few wobbly shots. Uh, we do use a fantastic camera for that, but uh, this is just my phone, so it probably looks rubbish. But anyway, and it's on the selfie side, so it probably looks even more rubbish. Uh, yeah, where was I getting to? Yeah, the point, point of that was my uh, good mate's young lad, he's, he said he's going 
give a whirl editing something, which is absolutely brilliant. Because I don't have the first clue. What we need, I think, the real toy shop is a is a youth or somebody that is willing to do a bit of videoing, do a bit of editing, and uh, yeah, generally try and make some of these videos, which apparently I need to do, which I don't know, I don't know. We'll work it out, but I don't, I'm not so sure. We'll find out after this one. But if there is a bit of a, you know, young there, uh, lad, lass, or anywhere in between that wants to video and edit, or even if they just want to edit, I don't know how this all works or how we get stuff to you or whatever, but if there's someone out there that's thinking, yeah, I can do a bit of that, give us a shout. Hit us up at info at therealtoyshop.co.uk and uh, yeah, let's see if um, if you're out there. Anyway, that was just a crazy thought as I pass the police station again on this sunny day. Just sharing thoughts as I drive along. Thanks for watching this bit. Yeah, why am I thanking you? You did it. Highlights of the day so far. Popmaster. And now we're into ranting time. Jeremy Vine's on. Yep. That's the day for you. But, I've not dug one single ditch. 40 mile an hour on this extremely busy section of the A1. Um, yeah, there's no one on it. Me, a Range Rover Evoke, a lorry, and a speed camera sign. Yeah, so there you go. <sighs> Just past the sign. He said, street lighting is not in use for safety reasons. Can't think of one. Still in the 40 zone. And um, look to my right. I'm doing 40. Just been absolutely flown past by a Polish truck. to do 40 apparently. Don't know where this guy's from but he's flying as well. Oh he's Dutch. Never mind. videos online of the bikes or photographs and descriptions and everything else people human nature portray some sort of um, their own idea onto the bike that you're selling now at here at the real toy shop what we try and do is pretty much describe the bike down whilst still getting all the information across so that hopefully when the bike lands um, the bike exceeds your expectations. We don't like to deliver rubbish. That is absolutely the wrong way around. And we also, we don't like to embellish stuff, um, you know, that, that's rubbish. But even so, when we are delivering a bike, or when I'm delivering a bike, it's usually me, you get that little jitter in your stomach that, yeah, we've just driven 180 miles, and um, is the guy really gonna like it? Well, he should do, absolutely, because this thing is like a new pin. But that's how, that's the feelings you get. Collecting bikes, no problem. Um, I can see through what's there and work around it. And, you know, if there's a scratch on it, it can be repaired or, you know, all that good stuff. But you can never get back um, when you deliver your bike to your person, the happiness and the feelings that they're going to get out of it. So, just wanted to get that across. Um, Jeremy Vine's nearly finished now, so... Um, I'll get back to him in a minute. But yeah, M25, 17 miles to run, a little bit of the jitters. Uh, 
wondering if this chap is going to absolutely love his bike, and I know he will, because that's what we deliver. But again, move on, let's go. So, we're nearly there. Let's see what uh, we think of the bike. I'll film it coming out. So that's it, we're here. Fastened in properly. Lovely sunny day. Let's get her out for the happy customer. So, the half hour before, a little stress thing uh, that you get, the little worry that the uh, new owner won't be happy. Well, absolutely as normal, blown away. Put a little picture on later of Bal with his new Enfield, or really good, new to him, old Enfield, with just 80 kilometres on it. Um, he's got the best of weather to pick it up, or get it dropped off, whatever, dropped off obviously, I've just dropped it off, could have picked it up, he's absolutely gorgeous today. Um, so now, I'm negotiating my way out of uh, Hayes, going to Hook in Hampshire, yeah. Here we come, hook. So about um, 28 miles away now, we're passing Gatwick. Um, what thoughts on my mind now? Not a lot really. Um, hopefully the bike we're going to pick up is okay. I'm sure it will be. Uh, it's come through the uh, BMW sort of dealer network. It's uh, um, coming out of a car dealership. Sometimes car guys not quite as up together with the uh, descriptions on the bikes, but generally, you know, people are trying to do the right thing and do a good thing. So, uh, the bike I'm sure is absolutely fine. Um, about 30 mile away from that, as I said before, it doesn't really bother me when I'm picking the bike up because we can we can all sort out what's there and what needs to be done and everything before it goes out to the happy next customer. So, 30 miles to run, still heading the wrong way south. So, looking at getting there about three o'clock in the afternoon, get loaded up, turn around, back into the uh, car park that's the M25, I'm sure, for about five o'clock. That'll be exciting. Um, possibly then heading to Leicester to collect um, Lisa's dad who's had a little operation up there and he's in hospital and they've been hanging on to him for a couple more days than he needed to be. So it's a short week for us this week because we were down there early in part. Uh, we'll save Lisa driving down to Leicester and back to Groomsby, four hour trip. If I'm passing, might as well grab him. So, we'll see, it's quite, quite, uh, quite busy, but do not have to deliver um, Deliver anything, good God, man. deliver the bike. No, didn't have to dig a ditch, did I? So. You know, it's not too bad, and I enjoy the job. We, we both enjoy the job. Spent years as an engineer on tugboats. That was the best job in the world, but this is even better. So, yeah. Yeah, that's it really. Can't really tell you a lot more. 27 mile to run. Bucking Hampshire. Here I come. So, here we are. Hampshire BMW. Not sure where we need to be in here, but we need to be in here, that is a certainty. Right, let's get parked up, let's find a bike. That's it, we've arrived. Let's go try and find a bike. So, here it is, this is today's bike. Ready to go in the van, I'm gonna pass over to Reese and he's gonna video you getting in the damn thing. Right. Hold me beer and watch this. Good clean, it'll be uh, good as gold. So, nice little GSX uh, 1250 there for somebody. Fared up, nice colours. Um, sat nav's now plumbed in for home, which is fantastic. Uh, 
don't have to pick Lisa's dad up, which is also fantastic. Well, not fantastic, it's got to stay in, but um, uh, fantastic, I ain't gonna head that way. So, heading directly for home now, but we're on the eternal search for fuel that isn't astronomical. We're not paying two pound odd on a motorway service station because that would be ridiculous. So, we're now heading into Hook itself. I uh, did do um, a little try for Tesco's, but uh, shout out to them, but they didn't have a fuel station, so we didn't bother. So we're now heading to this one down the road. I think it's a Shell garage, I can see it there. So what we're paying for fuel, I've no idea, because they've hidden it. That's how embarrassed they are, probably. Um, so we've got 172 in Texco on the right. Which we can't get to either because traffic's held up for whatever reason. Um, yeah, hook in Hampshire. Come on, guys, move along. Move along, move along, move along. <sighs> I don't know what's going on up here. We've got tortoise crossing the road or something, who knows? So, Texco or Shell, what do we pick? Well, Shell is a good three pence, sorry, two pence dearer. So it looks like Texaco for us today. Yep, here we go, Texaco and Spa. There we are, fueled up, uh, another 132 quid. Uh, they're filling up the tank and uh, filling up me with a bit of a pasty. Never do you feel more like a pasty than when you're driving. Ain't that the truth? So, filled up with a pasty, some good old council pop, some sweets, and we're headed back to Sunny Grimsby. Going the right way now, we're headed north, which is fantastic. Uh, due to arrive about eight o'clock tonight, but right now, it's quarter to four, I'm about 20 miles south of the M25, so you tell me if you think I'm gonna get uh, home for eight o'clock. This is why when, um, you know, we're saying to folk with a water bike delivery in and they're going, oh, will you knock us two, three, four hundred quid off, whatever, and I'll have the bike delivered. And you're like, can we get it yourself? Because right now, I'm 211 miles from home. It's quarter to four in the afternoon. And yeah, I've just delivered a bike and I've dropped a bike. So I don't know how much anybody else earns when they're at work. But we aren't posting these things. We're not going down to the post office and saying, you know, let's put a, one of Charlie's finest on the uh, on the envelope and let's pop a, um, a Ducati Multistrada to Inverness. Um, only cost me 50p, so yeah, of course I'll knock a couple hundred quid off. Don't work like that. With a nice van, uh, it has to be, so we can get around the ULEZ and all that good stuff. So it's got to be a nice van, there's wear and tear. This van, two years old now. Uh, 60,000, 65,000 miles on it. All done by yours truly, all over this country. Uh, to people who actually do appreciate what we're doing by bringing a bike to them. It's not a case of, uh, it, it, it's for free. It costs a fortune to um, go around at my time. Obviously it's gotta be worth something. Some people say not, but. Sound like I'm having a moan, I'm not really. Um, I love it. But just trying to get you to understand why it's not a freebie, really. Uh, it's got to be um, an asking price for the bike, and we will deliver it for free. But it's not free to us. It costs us quite a lot of money, quite a lot of time. So most of you guys out there appreciate it, but there are the ones that ring up and, oh, why can't you deliver it for free? And then knock me off £500. Can't be done. Can't be done. So anyway. Um, are we going to get around the M25 in time? <laughs> Doubt it. Doubt it, but at least I'm the right side. I'm not that tunnel side. I mean, I'm going north, so my mood's, in, my mood's definitely up now. Uh, don't have to go to Leicester, which is great to uh, pick up Lisa's dad, so boom. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a heady 70 miles an hour, because we don't want any more speeding points, which is properly boring. Um, yeah, can't wait for my mate's lad to edit this. It's gonna be funny. He's gonna be bored to tears. Hopefully your guy's not. Um, 
Yeah. So I'm sure there'll be a little bit more to come. So it starts. So it starts. Uh, ten past four. Yeah. Eight o'clock is looking like a pipe dream. Fast lane, or outside lane, should I say, of the M25. Ten past four. Wish me luck. Yep, sat down and took me further around the M25. It's always a surprise at this sam sounds like this sat nav. It's uh, yeah, Tom Tom. Other sat navs are available. Most of them are crap. Well, this one seems to divert you through the traffic pretty well. It's a trusty old one. Kind of the SIM card in it. It's looking for new ways to get everywhere. Usually finds them. And I'm chuffed about it. So, yeah, let's crack on. You can always come and collect your own bikes, you know. I don't have to deliver them for nothing. sit through this traffic like I do save yourself a few quid oh pay the delivery at the asking price it's for now there you go tower in the distance yes that's it nearly there nearly there so that's it just arriving back at the ranch been a long day but we're we're here now. We've got a bike on board still. I'll drop that off in the morning. And then uh, get in the workshop, start the prep. Jobs are good in. And then tomorrow, I believe. Collect. Pretty certain. Ah, you can't see me, look. Too dark. There you go, I'm back. So yeah, tomorrow, Harley Davidson's pick up um, somewhere Doncaster way on. We'll see about that. And then, uh, yeah, I might do a little bit, unload the bike tomorrow. See how we go. Yeah. The day in the life of me at RTS, the real toy shop. Eight o'clock in the morning start, quarter past eight getting home. Yeah, you gotta put the hours in. You gotta put the hours in. Thanks for watching. So today, 
we are headed to the Doncaster. Got the um, delivery and collection done yesterday. Oh, just one second. Just parcel at the gate. Just grab that. Jobs are good. You know what that is? Me brake bleeder for the old Volvo. Right, so we are headed. Yesterday, we've still got the Suzuki GSX F in the back, the 1250. But rather than unload it and load another bike in, got a call this morning. We've got a um, Harley Ultra Ultra Limited, I think it is Ultra Limited, Ultra Classic. But it's 2000, uh, sorry, 1993 bike, 1340 Evo, and it's done just 13,000 miles from new with one owner. Um, so yeah, got to go and have a look. So we're just leaving home now. It takes about 45 minutes to get there and. Uh, yeah, let's get this uh, 1340 Evo. I think it's got a flat battery. I think it's got a flat tyre. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle, a bit of physical uh, brute force and ignorance involved in getting that in. But that's what we're all about. I'm a big chap. And uh, yeah, let's go. Catch you in a bit. So here we are, just arriving. Uh, yeah, let's get the Harley on board. Bit of pushing, bit of grunting. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the back of the workshop. This is the place where you find the Harley. It's the middle of nowhere. So, I've got the Harley on board now, the uh, 1340 Evo uh, Ultra Glide. One owner, all the books, all the original um, headsets and all that, and it's just mad who you meet. Absolutely mad. Uh, chap who bought this bike off and Good few others, absolute lo lovely guy, lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, ex British GP winner, yep, TT rider, raced Harleys, you name it, he's done it. Uh, lived a fantastic life, got a great place, loads of motorbikes, loads of nice cars, just a great bloke, and uh, that's who we're lucky enough to get to meet on this job. So, back to the workshop now, we've still got the Suzuki in the back. Up yesterday, and we've got this Harley. Wants a right good clean, but underneath it all, a 13,000 mile one owner ultra classic. Brilliant stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably see you uh, back at the ranch. Well, be at the workshop to be fair. Get back there, take a little video of it coming out, one thing or another, maybe even have my ugly mug on it again, which you haven't seen on previous videos apart from this one. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's get back to Grimsby. 40 mile. Rot. Take us 40 minutes. Jobs are good. See you in a bit. We're back. Back at the uh, nerve centre with the Harley. There's Scott. Look, looking happy. Dead happy. Merch. Van. Let's see what we've got. Got the Harley Ultra. Wants a right. Right, good clean. Oh. It's a one owner bike, 13,000 miles, it's coming out the van. I'll pass this to Scott. Then, if it all goes wrong, and I end up falling over, then you too cold, won't it? That. Oh, this is later me, looking pretty much the same as earlier me, um, rounding off the video. Never put my ugly mug on before, 
I don't know what I'm doing. Don't know much about editing, don't know much about videoing, don't know much about anything really. But what I do know about is getting you good bikes, good cars, deliver to your house on time. That's what it was all about really. So, like I say, no expert at this. If you like it, give it a like, put a comment, do what you want. And uh, yeah, let's, I uh, might tell you a story next time about uh, the motoring life, but otherwise, here we are, walking around, having a little look about. This is what we do. This is the kind of things we have. And then, obviously you've seen the nerve centre, that's where the bikes are. But, thanks for watching boys and girls, I'm sure you're bored to tears and uh, we'll see you on the next one. If you want the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.